I went through a time thinking um, I may never even see my kids again. I, maybe you know, is this could this be so fast that I'm going to die in the next? in the next day or two. It didn't seem likely, but it seemed possible since everything was happening so fast. What I had could have, it could easily have gone undetected for at least seven or eight more years, if not, if not more. Uh, the PSA test, the standard test they do, my PSA, when I went into hospital with a lymphoma was only about 0.7. A week later, it was 2.7. They did a bunch of tests, um, and then they did the endoscopy, um, colonoscopy, couldn't find anything. And then they did CT scan, the CT scan, and you could see just, just bright, shiny patches all over the place, and that was the lymphoma shining up. So, and they would have seen the prostate area that would have, I think, had a big patch in it too. With the prostate cancer, there were things like watchful waiting, where we just, you know, once every year, you have another biopsy, check to see how the progression of the cancer. Um, and then beyond that, there's hormone uh, therapy, there was stand, sort of a conventional radiation, there were radioactive seeds, there was surgery, and there was cyber knife. So there were these different things to choose from, and, and for me, most of them had uh, sort of somewhat unacceptable side effects, or well, they sounded, they, they all sounded pretty bad, especially the surgery sounded awful. Some of the other radiation treatments, you're really strapped very firmly down, but not with cyber knife, because they have these fiducials in that make sure that, that, that the target area is always sort of controlled, and they know where it is. So, but there's a um, series of lining things up in this big room. It's almost like being in a mini planetarium, I guess. Um, there's a big room with a big robot big white robot in there and you just lie down and um, once they dealt with the markers which have kind of a laser guiding system but it's it's really it's it's so simple there's not there's everything is preparation and then once you had the preparation then you just you just lie there for usually it's for about a, an hour maybe an hour and a half I was tired um, it was on on the Friday I was pretty I was pretty beat but that wasn't that big of a deal. It was Friday. I didn't work Friday afternoon. I just went home, went to sleep. Um, I had a, I did get a urinary tract infection from having the, I guess from having the Catherine for five days. Um, didn't know what that was, never having had one of those before. So that was a little uncomfortable. That was over the weekend. Other than that, I had almost nothing. Uh, I was on Flomax for a while, but um, you know, everything was, everything was for me, felt back to normal within, certainly within two weeks, probably one week. There are helplines um, and, and support groups, and I think it would be important to, um, to, to either do your research or join one of those and, and talk with other people that have, had, that have had the cancer and had the treatments and see how they're doing. I have no regrets um, from, from having CyberKnife at all. Um, there's obviously no way to go back in time and to experiment and say, oh, I wonder what it would have been like to have had the surgery. But I don't, it seems to me that I made, I made the right choice. Um, if you use PSA as an indicator of prostate cancer, I don't have prostate cancer because that PSA is so low now, it's 0.3. Um, so I'm happy, um, delighted to be alive. I hope I don't have any more bouts of cancer, but uh, even if another one turns up, and now I feel that I can fight off anything.